A D S R Pro Hi guys and welcome back to Idiot R Pro with me Mike Smith. We're going to have a quick look now at the new sidechain input features of our VST3 instruments in the new Cubase Pro 9. So let's get started. What we need to do is we're going to create a retrolog. So I'm going to go to VST Instruments, Synth, Retrolog, Add Track. And what we're going to do is we're going to activate the sidechain input of this synth. Now what we can do is turn the oscillator down or turn the oscillator off, depending on what you prefer to do. And what we're going to do is turn the audio input up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to send the entire mix through Retrolog. So I'm going to go to my sends, go to sidechain inputs, I'm going to select Retrolog. I'll turn that on and basically I've set it to post fader so basically I turn the fader down so you don't hear anything. Now let's close that down. The only time you'll hear noise now is if I press a key on my MIDI keyboard. But what we'll do for this case is I'm just going to draw a note in just so it plays continuously. Okay so there's the audio. And what we can do now is we can obviously manipulate the audio using all of the features within Retrolog, uh, like the filter cutoff. We can select different filter shapes. Mess with the envelope. Let's put it back to a low pass. And we can also use the modulation matrix to do some crazy stuff. So for instance, we could maybe create like a gated effect. So let's use LFO1 and we'll use, um, let's use cutoff. We'll then apply an amount and you can hear it modulating now. So let's sync it to tempo, but let's go to 16. Put it to a square wave. So there you go, you've got kind of a crazy gated effect. Let's change it to, let's try. So you can hear you can get some really crazy sort of effects going on. So let's take that off for now. What you can also do is add effects, so maybe a bit delay. Let's maybe add that to the modulation wheel. So let's actually move that. Let's. Set minimum and we'll set that to maximum. So now if I fully move my mod wheel, we only get that small amount of delay. Let's go back and just turn this up a little bit. Let's go back in. Let's maybe add a bit of reverb. Let's add that to the modulation wheel as well. And Set that to minimum. And we'll set that to maximum. So really, really handy. Let's maybe put a bit of resonator on. And let's... So you can hear you can get some really, really interesting sounds and effects now using all the modulation matrix of uh, Retrolog. You know, I, I think that's a great addition. Uh, it allows you to be able to, you know, do all sorts of crazy, crazy things. I mean, I know I'm obviously doing this with a full mix, 
but you imagine being able to just do this with a little loop and just add all of these effects via automation and record it all in so really really impressive and yeah interesting to see what else will come from this but um, that's it really just a quick overview of the new sidechain input function of Cubase 9 and don't forget experiment there's so many different things here all your different envelopes your LFOs the mod matrix the different effects assigning it to different parameters all of which is automatable and recordable so hope you found this useful and if that's the case please do subscribe to my channel and until next time bye bye A D S R Pro